everybody, this is Peter from Mail Pattern Boldness. Today I want to tell you about a sewing machine that I recently received as a gift from a reader uh, of the blog. It's a Singer Model 20. It's often known as the Sew Handy. It's a toy sewing machine. It's cast iron. It dates back to the 1920s. It came complete with its instructions. You'll often see these on eBay listed as either the Model 20 or the Singer So Handy. There were many different generations of them up until the 1970s, actually. And it's a working sewing machine. It makes a chain stitch, and uh, it's a hand crank. And I'm going to show you how it works. Model 20. Here's, can you see? This is the instruction booklet, which is actually extremely detailed. It tells you all about which needles to use on different uh, kinds of fabric. All of the parts of the machine are, uh, have letters assigned to them. It tells you how to adjust the uh, stitch length, how to uh, fasten off the stitching. Uh, these generally came with a cloth guide that would screw in right over there. I don't need the cloth guide. You can actually buy them. It, you know, it's a part that very often would get lost. I've never used a, a, a cloth guide. You can, even full-size machines have them, but again, it would screw in right over there. <clears throat> so let me show you how this works. I have two layers of cotton here, cotton shirting, and I'm just going to, the, it's all, oh, let me show you how it threads. It's really ingenious. It threads through roughly five different places, and they're all numbered. So this is numbered, uh, the spool goes here, then it goes through this hole, number, which is numbered, number one, number two, three, four, five, six, and then the thread goes straight down to the needle. So let's, let me show you how it works. And then I'm going to show you what's actually going on on the underside as well, which is very interesting. So you put the presser foot down. Uh, I think it takes a regular needle. I haven't changed the needle that it came with. And then you start there you go. Guiding the fabric with one hand and turning the hand crank with the other. Relatively smooth. And later I'm going to show you what's going on underneath, how that chain stitch is made. And you can see you can go pretty quickly. And it makes a very lovely stitch. stitch on top is beautiful. Perfect. And then on the back you have this wonderful thick chain stitch which is lovely to look at and would be wonderful on a western shirt say. Some uh, embroidery detail. So it's really a wonderful little machine and uh, I, I, I'm going to put the fabric in. And if you look underneath, you can see that hook that rotates. It just goes round and round to make that chain stitch. This lever here controls the stitch length. The closer I move it to, my, to me, toward me, the uh, shorter the stitch length. So I have it move pretty much to the back because I like that longer stitch. See how that looks. It'd be a somewhat shorter stitch. Yeah. Interesting.